Chopper 5 is giving us our most complete view of the flooding inside Yellowstone National Park. Recent tremors in Yellowstone have sparked fears of a supervolcanic eruption. While a major earthquake did hit the park in 2017, experts say it wasn't catastrophic and Yellowstone has fully recovered. There are hundreds of small earthquakes occurring right now, which is concerning, but does not always mean a massive eruption is about to happen. Let's explore the facts and potential consequences of Yellowstone's recent seismic rumblings. Recent Earthquakes in Yellowstone A recent surge of earthquakes in Yellowstone National Park has scientists on alert. These frequent tremors, mostly too weak for humans to feel, are concentrated along a crack left behind by a massive eruption millions of years ago. While these minor quakes serve as a reminder of Yellowstone's volcanic potential, the bigger concern is their possible escalation. Yellowstone, established as the first national park in the U.S., is famed for its wildlife, geothermal wonders, and diverse ecosystems. However, its unique geological makeup including hidden fissures and underground forces, makes it a captivating yet potentially hazardous zone. In 1985, the park's northern region experienced a swarm of over 3,000 small earthquakes in just three months, caused by the Yellowstone caldera's slight subsidence. Earthquake swarms in Yellowstone National Park have raised concerns about a potentially larger eruption. The Earth's crust in the park is stretched and fractured, allowing volcanic fluids to move and trigger tremors. These tiny cracks and faults are prone to slipping and releasing energy as shock waves, causing frequent quakes. Yellowstone experiences the most earthquake swarms of any place in the world, with the largest one recorded in 1985. The recent increase in tremors, particularly in the northwestern region where the strongest reached a magnitude of 3.9, is a reminder of the park's volatile geology. Two powerful forces shape Yellowstone's unique geological landscape, a volcanic system stressing the crust and an east-west tectonic extension zone. This combination results in a fascinating mix of earthquakes, hydrothermal activity, and volcanic eruptions. Scientists are particularly interested in understanding the tremors to visualize the magma chamber and caldera beneath the surface. This information provides valuable insights into Yellowstone's geological history. An extensive monitoring system established in 1973 has tracked nearly 48,000 earthquakes, with only one exceeding a magnitude of six. While seemingly minor, these earthquakes play a crucial role. They keep the channels open for hot water and steam to rise, maintaining Yellowstone's spectacular hydrothermal activity. The vibrant Grand Prismatic Spring exemplifies this connection. Without these tremors, mineral deposits could clog the cracks, silencing the geysers and hot springs. Yellowstone's caldera itself formed from a series of catastrophic eruptions over the past 2.1 million years. The most recent, the Lava Creek eruption 640,000 years ago was the most powerful, spewing unimaginable amounts of ash and gas. This eruption created the vast Yellowstone caldera, now home to Yellowstone Lake. Recent discoveries reveal two magma chambers beneath the caldera, the deeper one being significantly larger. These molten rock chambers fuel the geysers, hot springs, and mud pots making Yellowstone a geological marvel. Earthquakes in Yellowstone have been documented since the early 20th century. The recent increase has sparked concerns about a potential major eruption. While the likelihood is statistically low, close monitoring is essential. Scientists use various tools like seismometers and GPS to track the movements of magma and gas. This data is crucial for understanding Yellowstone's geological activity and providing early warnings for any potential eruptions. Yellowstone Seismic History Yellowstone National Park sits on a network of fault lines linked to a massive supervolcano slumbering deep underground. This volatile mix makes it one of the most seismically active regions in the U.S., 
experiencing an average of 1,500 to 2,500 earthquakes annually. Most of these tremors are minuscule and undetectable by humans, but a sophisticated network of 50 seismometers called the Yellowstone Seismic Network, YSN, meticulously tracks them. The most powerful earthquake on record in Yellowstone struck on August 17, 1959, with a magnitude of 7.3. This Hebgen Lake earthquake, centered just outside the park's western boundary, caused widespread damage and landslides. It tragically claimed 28 lives and unleashed a devastating flood that permanently altered the course of the Madison River. The floodwaters created Quake Lake, now a popular recreational spot. Interestingly, the earthquake also impacted Yellowstone's geothermal features, with dormant geysers erupting in new rhythms and hot springs becoming more active. This incident was a sobering reminder of how crucial being prepared is. In the aftermath, scientists and researchers at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and the University of Utah ramped up monitoring efforts. They utilized cutting-edge technology and real-time data to stay alert for any signs of potential volcanic activity. Another significant seismic event occurred in October 1983 when a 6.9 magnitude earthquake struck Idaho's Bora Peak. Though not as severe as the Hebgen Lake quake, it caused substantial damage in Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. The shallow nature of this earthquake, meaning it occurred close to the surface, amplified its destructive power. Buildings were damaged, Roads were blocked by landslides, and some people were even injured. The town of Chalice, Idaho, bore the brunt of the impact, with many buildings collapsing and essential services disrupted. This earthquake highlighted that Yellowstone's seismic activity extends beyond the park's boundaries, posing a threat to surrounding regions as well. Notable Earthquakes in Yellowstone The 1959 Hebgen Lake earthquake wasn't just a ground tremor. It shook Yellowstone's geothermal systems to the core. Old Faithful's eruptions changed rhythm, and the once peaceful sapphire pool erupted violently, reaching over 200 feet. The following years saw a surge in seismic activity, culminating in the dramatic eruption of Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest in 1961. Today, the Earthquake Lake Visitor Center serves as a remembrance of the event, informing tourists about the earthquake's long-term impacts. Yellowstone's seismic symphony continues. Since 2017, hundreds of earthquakes, some reaching magnitudes of 4.4, have rattled the park. While not as severe as previous catastrophes, the earthquakes serve as important reminders of the park's underlying geological forces. Scientists believe these small quakes are linked to the movement of magma and gas, offering valuable insights into Yellowstone's volcanic system. Understanding Yellowstone's earthquake history offers key lessons. First, earthquakes are a natural phenomenon. While most are minor, some can be devastating. Studying past tremors helps scientists predict the location and timing of future large earthquakes, allowing for better preparation to minimize damage. Yellowstone's quakes are unique because they're influenced by both tectonic and volcanic forces, unlike earthquakes caused solely by tectonic plate movement, like the catastrophic 1755 Lisbon earthquake. The park's volcanic system is fueled by a mantle plume, a hot rock current rising from the Earth's core. This plume melts surrounding rock, forming magma that feeds eruptions. The Yellowstone supervolcano, with its enormous caldera, is a testament to this immense power. The last major eruption occurred 640,000 years ago, but ongoing seismic activity and ground deformation hint at magma stirring beneath the surface. Scientists closely monitor Yellowstone's tremors using a network of seismometers. By deciphering the messages hidden within each quake, they can understand the underlying causes and potential risks associated with the slumbering supervolcano. Yellowstone's tremors are distinct from earthquakes in other regions. Unlike those infrequent but powerful events, Yellowstone experiences a constant hum of seismic activity with hundreds of small earthquakes each year. These tremors, often too weak for humans to feel, 
act as a vital pulse, revealing the park's ever-churning geological heart. This unique seismic landscape coexists with a dazzling display of geothermal features, hot springs, geysers, and fumaroles. Old Faithful, the park's iconic geyser, exemplifies this connection. Its recurrent eruptions demonstrate the ongoing movement of magma and gas beneath the surface. Recent news of earthquake swarms in Yellowstone has understandably sparked concern about a potential eruption. The U.S. Geological Survey and Yellowstone Observatory assure the public that these tremors aren't necessarily a harbinger of imminent doom. However, the possibility of a catastrophic eruption from the Yellowstone supervolcano remains a chilling prospect. Yellowstone Lake, North America's largest high-altitude body of water, sits within the caldera, making it a focal point of concern. Its average depth of 140 feet, with some areas reaching 390 feet combined with its location, raises the question of whether the lake could trigger a massive eruption. The lake's unique shape, resembling an oval with fjord-like extensions, further adds to the intrigue. The western shore boasts West Thumb Geyser Basin, the park's oldest hydrothermal feature, and a testament to the area's volcanic history. While the lake's tranquility attracts diverse waterfowl and provides renowned trout fishing, these activities would be the least of concerns if an eruption were to occur. The consequences would be devastating. Molten lava flows would threaten nearby communities, while a colossal ash plume would engulf the atmosphere. Entire landscapes would be sterilized, impacting not just the immediate vicinity, but potentially cities hundreds of kilometers away. A volcanic winter could follow, disrupting agricultural patterns, triggering food shortages, and worsening environmental challenges on a global scale. In the aftermath, the task of rebuilding would be monumental. Emergency services would be stretched thin, assisting those displaced while scientists desperately monitor the volcano to prevent further eruptions. History reminds us that seemingly dormant giants can awaken, and Yellowstone's constant seismic hum, while not a guaranteed precursor to a cataclysmic event, serves as a crucial reminder of the immense power slumbering beneath the surface. Future Volcanic Threats The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory stands as the front line in monitoring this geological giant. This collaborative effort, spearheaded by the U.S. Geological Survey, the University of Utah, and the National Park Service, unites geophysicists, geochemists, and geologists. Their mission is to provide timely warnings and safeguard the public. What about their arsenal? A network of seismometers, GPS receivers, and other equipment that continuously monitor the Earth's crust for even the smallest movements. This data helps scientists detect signs of volcanic activity and estimate the likelihood of an eruption. Additionally, they closely monitor the park's geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles, nature's own early warning systems for volcanic unrest. However, despite this robust monitoring effort, the pursuit of knowledge is a constant battle. Maintaining and expanding these networks in Yellowstone's rugged terrain is a logistical nightmare. Harsh weather conditions, remote locations, and unforgiving landscapes force scientists to brave extreme temperatures, strong winds, and heavy snowfall to deploy and maintain observatories. Winter blizzards can bury equipment under layers of snow, while summer storms can damage delicate instruments, necessitating frequent repairs. Financial constraints are another hurdle. Acquiring, commissioning, and maintaining equipment is expensive, often stretching research budgets thin. This can lead to gaps in monitoring coverage, leaving critical areas vulnerable. Innovation is the key to overcoming these challenges. Scientists are developing automated systems that can withstand harsh weather and minimize reliance on manual maintenance. Integrating data from multiple sources is another focus, aiming to improve the accuracy of predictions and warnings. Communication and collaboration are equally crucial. Scientists strive to translate complex scientific concepts into clear and concise language for the public. Timely and accurate information dissemination is paramount. 
Looking ahead, scientists hope to develop advanced monitoring systems that detect even the most subtle changes in the Yellowstone caldera. A deeper understanding of the underlying processes driving volcanic activity is vital for more accurate predictions and warnings. Here's where technology shines. Automated aerial vehicles equipped with heat cameras can detect volcanic activity signatures. Artificial intelligence algorithms are being integrated for real-time data analysis, helping identify patterns and anomalies that might otherwise be missed. Weather-resistant sensors are being developed to improve the accuracy of measurements. Intriguingly, an unexpected ally has emerged. Bison. These iconic Yellowstone residents seem to have an uncanny ability to sense impending seismic events. Herds exhibit unusual restlessness and migration patterns before earthquakes, suggesting a fascinating link between animal behavior and geological activity. Studying bison behavior could offer valuable insights into the precursors of volcanic activity. By combining the expertise of scientists and naturalists, we can develop proactive measures to protect human and animal populations from potential threats. The recent earthquakes in Yellowstone were a stark reminder of the power beneath the surface, but the ongoing monitoring efforts offer a glimmer of hope. The race against time continues, but with innovation and collaboration, we can be better prepared for whatever the future holds. Hit that like and subscribe button for more mysteries.